Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome to another episode on the EP3 track build. Yeah, now we're doing a battery relocation today to free up some space under the bonnet for something else I want to do. Yes, so let's take a look at the kit first of all. Yeah, I'll show you what I bought. So it does come as a battery relocation kit. Yes, it does. Now the kit actually consists of, Lots of five wires. meters of big wire. I'm never so smart. I can't remember what gauge <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, we get real technical. It's, it's the big wire anyway. Um, obviously you got that then to your positive feed, so you got your box there, just so you can run it straight to the back of the car. Cool. That, you got your ground lead, um, some zip ties. Yep, cable zip ties, ties I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, it comes with this inline fuse, right, which sucks. This is an interesting, yeah, so there are so many kits available out there. Um, we'll see if we can get some info on the kit that you bought. Yeah, but... basically that's a 200 amp inline fuse, which is just a cheap piece of crap. Now, it works. It does work. But we're using this as, I say we. <laughs> well, we are, we're using this as a track out. It's gonna get some heavy abuse. So you wanted the best, rightly so. Yeah, so I ended up buying this. Um, Can I just say, this is a genius idea. I never even thought of this. And I don't think I've ever seen anyone run one. Yeah, I seen it on another YouTuber do it. Okay. So I was like, right, I'm gonna look into that. And it was only like, like a tenner. Okay, so, explain what it is. Yeah, what it is, obviously you run your positive into there, positive into there, and it open circuit. It's a breaker circuit. switch, basically. It's a, yeah, it? basically, yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's. It's gonna look a lot neater. Plus, I'm gonna be able to isolate the battery when I want to as well. Yes. Just by the click of a switch. Yeah. Fantastic. So yeah, the rest of it is um, your fixings, your fittings, shrink wrap. Come, oh right, okay. Yeah. yeah, they all come with it, and obviously wire protector. Yes, because when you're dealing with we're dealing with some high spec electrics, you yeah. want a don't cheap out, and you want all this protection and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Now I'm not usually when I messes with electrics because I don't like it. But <laughs> You know, it is switched it's on fuse as well, so. Relatively straightforward, I would say, for any DIYer. Yeah. It's worth having a go as long as you've got enough amount of common sense. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of reasons people do battery relocations, and there's actually a few reasons we're doing it that's gonna benefit us. Like we said, this is Kenny's 282 brake NA Civic EP3 track car. Yeah, that's why so, I like, you keep saying us. I know, <laughs> <laughs> the MX-5's mine, this is I ours. Know, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's how Drew works. So, yeah. <laughs> this is Kenny's car, yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, so one of the main reasons, um, at the moment you, Kenny's got a hybrid racing intake, which literally does a wig it wag all, all the way down. Yeah, it's got two 90 degree bends. Yes. Now after watching Gears and Gasoline, they done tests on these, and there was around eight horsepower difference between two bends and a straight pipe. Jesus. So we're gonna go for a straight pipe. Yeah. And obviously what we needed to do is come off here, but the filter needs to go there. Into so here, yes. this needs to go somewhere else. Needs to Back around, back there. To the back. So there's also the advantage of weight distribution. Now yes. you are going to look at getting a smaller battery before anyone says, yeah. but for even, now. Even for now, I'm just going to use this tray for now because I don't want to yeah. go changing the tray if I've got to change the battery because I don't know what size battery I'm going to go for. It's, so yeah, yes. yeah. So for now, it's just going to be moved. Keep okay. it simple because your main thing is the intake exactly. and it's just a bonus to have this in the boots. A yeah. lot of people do it for weight distribution anyway. Yeah. So very minute, but you got to benefit there as well. Yeah, so let's start stripping it up. Yes, first step is obviously getting it out. Now I don't know if this is going to work or not. What I might have to do is drill these um, rev weld things. Yeah. And then just remove this part. Same with this. Mounting it to a flat surface. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like I said, this is temporary, so I will just... Yeah. Watch the crap out of it. <laughs> yeah. So battery tray out. And as we said, the main thing Kenny wants is the intake. Look. Oh my God. I didn't realize it was it's really crap. If you can't see. Yeah. Now this car runs 282 brake. Like that. With, yeah. Hmm. I'm looking at 400 now. Yeah. Easy. Nah. <laughs> No, that really. might be in a separate video, but we you have got all the bits now, haven't you, for the intake? Yeah. But yeah, that might be a different video, but stay tuned for that. Because be we different. are going to be doing some dyno testing with that as well. We know you guys love the dyno testing, as do we. Yeah, now if anybody's got a Tegua induction kit they got at hand, Ooh, and yeah. they want to lend it to us just for like a few days, we'd like to do a different, um, yeah, basically a couple of different poles with a Tegua kit on. We know what this runs, and then yes. see what a straight pipe would do, just yes. to see if there's any advantage. That's a really good point. That, would that be way awesome. then everyone knows what's the best. Yes, yeah, so we can finally put it to bed where it is. So if you have got one, um, there, that you wouldn't mind lending us, literally just do some dino falls, drop us a message. No going back now. The terminal, so what Kenny's done at the moment, so your positive terminal there, <coughs> you've got to cut off because this is your... Oh. Junction box. box. Junction box. We'll call it a junction yeah, box. Yeah, we'll call it that. Your two positive, uh, your positive and negative will go in there, I'm assuming. No. No? No. 
this. Oh no, because you're, yeah, yeah. Positive okay. and positive. Yeah, right. basically that's what's going to run from there to there, because obviously that's what, that's into the fuse box, start the motor, blah, blah, blah. Yes. So yeah, you need to run that positive feed into this directly from the car. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. Trying to get these into a little hole is quite tricky. <laughs> There's a joke in there somewhere. I was just gonna say, <laughs> People often wonder what I do while Kenny does the mechanical work, and that's uh, pretty much just. <laughs> <laughs> just get in and just wait and annoy him. <laughs> I wouldn't advise that. <laughs> so terminals on. So you've got your two positives there going into the one yeah. terminal. Uh, obviously, we couldn't get the vice in here, so we have to resort to. I was going to say pliers. It was actually cutters you use. Yeah, they cut us, but they're not. They don't actually cut. If that makes sense, check it out. <laughs> one of my father's tools from 1970. <laughs> See, they don't join. 1700s. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. they actually work perfectly. Basically, anything you can apply, you did have to apply a lot of for anything you can apply yeah, well, for. Yeah. How the hell I've done that? Been gashing out. Well, I don't know if we've introduced you guys to the bike over there, but that is cool as hell. I think we'll have to do a bit of a, a proper introduction on that, but that's cool Definitely, as hell. Definitely, yes. So, as far as running the cables, we've got your sort of engine side earth here. Yes. And what I really like is we're going to be utilizing, hopefully, the factory holes. So, we're going to earth. Kenny gets out the what freaking way. Um, we're going to earth it down there using the factory point. Yeah, well, the original one for this that run off the um, negative terminal was here. Oh yeah. But it's kind of in the way of this, so what I'm going to do yeah. is cut it all back and just use this instead. Yeah. And then we're going to run the junction box, hopefully there, which is another factory mounting point. So yeah. on an EP3, yeah. on the front end anyway, there's going to be no modification needed. No. Right. Exactly. Do it every time. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I noticed something with it. Yeah, good. I'm like, the, yeah, he gets into it. I'm trying to work. Is, this is what it's like being a cameraman. You don't know the struggles. Yeah. Anyway, earthing point is on. You're negative there. We managed to use the factory hole, which is fantastic. Yeah. The yes. next step is rooting it. Yeah, now what I'm going to do first, just so we know where we're going from behind the dash, remove this grommet. That's what it's in. Oh, no, it's ah, it's <laughs> you, a sills. So, <laughs> so again, for EP3s, there's a lovely factory grommet we can use to keep this nice and clean. Yep. So yeah, now that's out of the way, we'll start rooting it from the boot to the front. You know, employee of the month. Employee of the month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to do is root it from the back to the front. <laughs> to the front. <laughs> <laughs> can't get out my hand up, yeah. Um, yeah, so we can push the car forward now so we can get into the rear. Giggity. Giggity, 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 giggity. Yes. Um, and yeah, basically just start wiring it through. Yeah. Nice. Now the battery's obviously got to go somewhere, so luckily what? Kenny... Me. <laughs> oh well done, I have to blank that. <laughs> uh, luckily Kenny's made that quite easy. I'm not going in my ass. <laughs> yeah, my life is lovely now, I'm focused on me. You said you were about to die, I guess the car is on E. But see, I ain't even tripping. So from a previous video, you guys will know that Kenny stripped out the rear. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and, um, I stripped out as much as I could, and I've actually gone a bit further this time and stripped yeah. out even more. Yes, and when I say stripped, I mean literally. He's cut off the tabs at one another. So basically, you go into the extra anything you can strip out of this car. Because if you haven't seen previous videos, Kenny's got a bit obsessed now with rate reduction. Yes. Not complaining. Yeah, exactly. I could probably do with a little bit myself. <laughs> yeah, that's but, my end problem yeah, right there. Oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, after I... When the camera's off, he's I was going to say, yeah, I, I'm going to no. pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> now, there was also brackets. Um, I'll show you in a sec. I've taken off here, which was uh, rear seat support. I've removed those as well. These were seatbelt um, holders, basically. Ankles, so yeah, yeah, so yeah. I got rid of those as well. And you'll probably notice it's grey. I was literally just going to say, you made the eagle item on you will notice. You stripped it down to bare metal. <laughs> no, it's not. It is big. Yeah, and I, um, uh, once again, I know it's, it's not a, tr a show car, so no. um, I just rattle canned it and it looks, it looks a lot better than I was expecting. It looks fresh. We have got a cage to go in as well, so with that, the yeah. absence and the harness, it, dude, it's all, it is well, all coming together. That's going in next month, so yeah. yeah, that'll be class. I can finish them. Yeah, it's over there. Yeah, it's and like, I, then I can finish painting the rest of the interior. Yes. So yeah, for now, this is where it's at. Yeah, so the plan is we... Good thing is battery location, chances are you're doing it on a tracker so you'll have all the room to work with. There's no real place you need to put it, just... Central they recommend, obviously, yes. the weight distribution. So we're yeah. going to mount it around here. Yep. Um, so yeah, let's start planning it. Guess who's going underneath the car to drill it, I'm guessing. Yes, you are. <laughs> now, obviously, each car application will be different, but for the EP3, what we are going to do is try and utilise the factory battery tray, but it's yeah. obviously... So we want to mount it to a flat surface, so that part is spot welded. So what Kenny's doing is obviously doing like a spot weld. 
And so after a few hours on the drill, oh, it might be exaggerating. A little bit. Sure, you've Especially mutilated the package. <laughs> yeah, there was some I couldn't be bothered. Like I said, this is temporary, so don't judge me. <laughs> Accelerate fabrication. Men. Luckily it's temporary. <laughs> <laughs> Just as well. So after Kenny's modification, the battery trays, that's basically where it's gonna sit. Yeah. So all we need now is to draw some holes, nuts from underneath, giggity, and we're rooting the So guess cables. who's going under the car? Yeah, this is what I come in. Honda quality breath! Wow. I hope there's nothing under there, mind. I was just say we probably should have checked for this one. Yeah. Now we have no affiliation with these, but this has got to be one of the most handy things Yay. I've seen in a while. <laughs> I'm a comedian, I didn't even realise. Little torches on the end, I just got underneath the car. Hey Bruce. Um, these things are absolutely class. Holes drilled, bolted in from the bottom and obviously the top. Battery's just gone in. We have realised a bit of an issue with using the factory ones. Yeah, it only comes with the one tie down there and the other side. The other side, I have it's bolted in. I have got a universal one you can have if you oh, want. Sweet, thank so I'll you. bring up next time. But yeah, for now, for now we'll um, obviously bolt the one up and we'll cable tie the other side. The car's not going anywhere. I was going to say, it's not going to be moving anyway, but no. yes, just an FYI if you are planning on using the originals. Yes. So obviously now we've got to figure out where we're going to be running the earth, because we'll earth it before we do anything. Yes. And we're going to have to ruin this lovely paint job. Puppy! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, so as far as earth goes, it's pretty big. Yeah. Ah, anyway, so again, with EP3 specifically, as long as you can find a point to mount a sort of bare metal, which we've gone for there, another factory point we can utilize. And again, putting the terminal on there. Yeah, we're gonna go on to the vice now and sort it out. Yeah. So that's a negative cable for the boot built. And what I like about this kit, which I'm sure most of them come with, is it's even got the little cover to go with as well. <coughs> Always helps if you've got it in the boot, because you don't want nothing touching them. Yeah, that's going to look really cool. Yeah. So that's that there. Now, obviously, I'm going to bolt that side of it in ready. But we go to the positive side of it now. Always stay positive. Ah. <laughs> so moving on to the positive cable, yep. uh, basically running it from here into our Break a switch or fuse line if you want to stick with the original fuse. Now the best way to position the fuse or the breaker switch is as close to the battery as possible. That is pretty dang close. Yeah, I don't think you can get much closer than that. And right? once again, Kenny's not happy with how they do things, so he's modified it again <laughs> his way to make it fit the factory hole, which I absolutely yeah. love again. That's once cool again, I see he's drilling more holes, even though that's more weight reduction. Um, <laughs> but yeah, as I said, nice and easy, nice and simple. Yes, and then, as you can probably guess, it will then go from there, the brake switch. It's just a case of rooting it to the front. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. We just do the same, what we're doing here, that end. Yeah, so crimping wise, this is why we're using the vice. That's good advice. And then we will literally just start to, Let's crimp that on. Oh, nice. And that. Some more top tips. It's not going anywhere. That's awesome. That's a very clean. Nice, isn't it? Clean crimp as clean well. Civic on MX5. No comment. So, am I way full? <laughs> Positive lead running through there. We have gone with a slightly different grommet because it was a nightmare to get that one there. So it was easier. There's one just on the right with one of the main wiring harnesses. Feeds just underneath it, and there is plenty yeah. of length. Ooh, so, <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Always checking fingers. I'm not sorry. No, I'm gutted. Um, all the way back here, back to the, the breaker. Future. Oh. <laughs> sorry. We're so close. Look at that. Yeah, yeah so we're going to bolt this in now, and then we can actually start setting up where the lead's going to run properly. Um, let's say we need to put some protective coat in over the yeah, certain parts. Yeah, and we parts. are tidy that up and everything. Yep, yeah, so yeah, yeah. we're getting here it. We go, here we go. <laughs> you look like a caged animal in there. I feel like it. <laughs> I'm built for this. <laughs> Trying to just see Tighten if that up. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Here's <laughs> I actually was a bit like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Right, so terminal's not, this should. Yeah, no, I haven't got any interior left anyway. This should, yeah, he's got nothing in there to try. Yeah. But this should be the first star. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> right, should well, start it? Ignition start. Ignition's on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, go on. Yep, nothing. Yes! That's cool. Awesome! I mean, that's really cool. <laughs> yes! We've wanted to do this for a while. I know, so, eh? Oh, man. How neat is that as well, though, man? Let's just say, obviously, ignore that for now, the clamp. Yeah. But that, going to the factory hole there, going all the way there. He's even cable tied the little fixings there, following it all the way through. Now, as we said, obviously, if you're running trims in your car, you won't see the wire anyway, that's but I'm not, so. Very good point, because yeah. as you can see, Stripped all of that, goes all the way under the dash, huh. out of the bulkheads, into your box there, you can't really see, but in that junction box there, that is class, and we've now got all this room here to work with. As far as battery relocation goes, I think... Yeah, we're just going to tie it up well now, literally, with the ties. Oh yeah, tidy um, up there, but yeah. that... Yeah, but I, I'm really happy with that, man. Yeah. How much better is that? Yeah. Obviously, with the intake there, I'm going to paint that in as well, just yeah. even if it's black, just to protect it. So, yeah. that was a good option. Or you could just buy an MX-5 because the battery's already in the boot. <laughs> Race caster. <laughs> yeah, you need a waterproof one. <laughs> 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 yeah, we won't talk about that. <laughs> so, for the people who've come just to see the battery relocation, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. We've got so much more coming with the car, so don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I just want to say for our loyal subscribers, uh, just a quick update on the MX-5, the boosted one. It is... <laughs> Shut up, this is my time. I'm taking over your video. Uh, we've got plans now in January to take it in and get all the metal work done. The reason I haven't done any videos on it or any modifications is because I want to get all the metal work done before we start doing all the fun stuff. Uh, Jag's back on the road. The other MX-5 don't even ask. We'll get to that one day. But uh, for now, I think we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Woo!